Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen I would be talking about vocabulary today Vocabulary is actually a range of artistic stylist form of words like beautiful uh, words that you can use in your papers and exam We are actually building our vocabulary each and every day you know the first step to building your vocabulary is listening you listen to movies you you listen to songs you listen to people talking in english and you pick words up the second one is speaking you can learn them by speaking you hear the word then you say it and then you learn the word third one is by reading the most effective of all is the reading you read a word you will use it in your script and the fourth one is writing of course once you read a word in a sentence you know how to use it you'll definitely be writing it there are different ways through which vocabulary can be learned and the first and the foremost way would be by reading all those parents who are watching these videos and who want their kids to to appear or to take this uh, the competitive exams in future i would recommend them to build a habit of reading in their kids i have already uh, talked a lot on reading but here i'll emphasize more because vocabulary is is basically built by reading it is a long and a very slow process but that is actually a permanent one the others who are actually preparing for any sort of competitive exam or their medical entry tests and they need to build their vocabularies or the tests what you need to do is you have to get a book of uh, gre the baron's book of gre and you have to find that list within that book it's a 3000 to 3500 words long list and uh, there's a special way of learning it you have to build your flash cards i'll be talking about the flash cards soon well to make your flash card what you need to do is get an a4 size paper or any paper that you have at home please fold it like this three times i am going to fold it in half then i'm going to fold it again and then i'll be folding it a third time like this and these these are going to give me eight flash cards you know i open it and you can see eight cards here i cut them i cut 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 cards out of it this is going to be the size and shape of one flash card what i'll do is i'll write the word in the in the front like this a big bold word and then at the back i'm going to write the meanings and then i'll make a sentence if i'm a very good student who wants to learn the vocabulary from heart i'll be writing writing sentences regarding that word so if the word is abhor it means hatred disgust or loath or or you know uh, to not like something or someone so i've made a sentence she abhor gender discrimination in all forms so you know this is what i do with the flash cards i'll make all the words i'll make flash cards for all the words which i learn in the gre word list what you should do next is that you make at least 50 of these cards the first 50 words will be on your flash cards you can actually uh, put them together in a rubber band or or something you can tie them together but you know make a set of 50 words each then whenever you get time you're taking a break you're going for lunch you're you know you're you're tired of studying you can pick one set up and you start revising your words wherever you forget you can always uh, flip your card back and you can see what the meaning is you can revise the sentence and like that you know you're going to build your memory tracks the more you revise the better your memory tracks are going to get so this is how you need to revise and you need to learn the last and the most important thing is please put a dictionary in your phone my favorite one is merriam webster you can put in any dictionary of your choice um you need a dictionary because whenever you come across a word you see it in a newspaper you learn it in a book or anywhere you hear it or you listen to it in the movies or songs look for it look it up and make a flash card out of it <clears throat> add it to your stack and that is how you're going to learn your new words and in merriam webster you can also find you know uh, the pronunciation of words the problem is that it is an american dictionary so there are some words which are pronounced differently in british english and differently in american english but that's okay at least you'll know how to say that word so do install the dictionary any dictionary of your choice never leave a word unread never leave a word ununderstood if you do not get it look for it and that is how you build your vocabulary best of luck